never going to happen for me. But, you know, I'm a U of M alum, so right. I, they always go pretty far. Yeah, in they bracket. do. And then, you know, you could win a billion dollars. That'll never happen. And then share it with me. <laughs> right. What do we have going on in the weather department? I notice everything seems a lot calmer today than what we've had before. Uh, yeah, you know, a little patchy drizzle out there this morning along the coast. Downtown, we're looking pretty good. As you can see, visibility is looking great right now, so we're not having any fog in the area. Right now, 37 degrees, so we are above freezing. Uh, clouds helping us out there, acting like a blanket. Little wind from the south and east at about five miles per hour. Nothing major there. All of us really starting in the mid 30s. I see plenty of 37s on the map there, with the exception of West. Lynn being one of the colder spots at 35 out towards the coast, the low to mid 40s. Again, some patchy fog out in that direction and possible some drizzle, especially the further north you go along the coast. Washing through the gorge this morning for some freezing fog as you're at 30 degrees in Hood River. Ben, though, 19, one of the colder spots in Salem this morning. A little bit of fog in your area right around 37. So the planner for today, we'll see some clouds in the morning. Again, some spotty drizzle possible. But as we get through the afternoon hours, I think we're going to see some sun breaks coming in right around 47 for the afternoon high. We'll stay partly cloudy. Sunset is at 503 p.m. tonight and then tonight we'll start to see some fog developing most likely after 10 o'clock and it could be uh, generally patchy and dense in nature by the time we wake up by tomorrow morning. So visibility is again looking great through uh, the metro area down towards the I-5 corridor. Some light fog around Salem latest uh, visibility around seven miles per hour. So we had that weak boundary that pulled in and that's what's giving us a little bit of drizzle along the coast this morning and the clouds. So a closer look up towards the north shore really not much going on but again it's out there reports of drizzle around the Astoria area this morning along the I-84 corridor through the Dalles, Arlington, even through Pendleton. This is the area I'm watching this morning for that freezing fog, and I think you're going to see a lot of clouds today with that air stagnation advisory in effect. So the ridge of high pressure really is not breaking down too much. The main storm track is going up and around that, so this system is not going to impact us at all. Lots of sunshine are for the west coast, especially the further south you go. And again, what we're looking for mainly is just a little bit of drizzle, possibly through about 10 a.m. this morning along the coast, then getting some gradual clearing. Slightly cooler temperatures through the the valley today. Uh, mostly cloudy skies and patchy fog the further south you go. Kelso right around 47 today for your high. Air stagnation advisory and that patchy freezing fog up towards the north anywhere from the Dalles all the way to Pendleton. The Burns area today right around 46 degrees. Going to be a cold night for you. Madras right around 48 and then patchy fog through the gorge turning partly sunny by the afternoon. Government camp today right around 41 with a low near 26 with a snow level right around 6,000 feet. It will be a pretty quiet day for us downtown and for the metro area we get into the 40s, about 47, like I mentioned, for the high tonight, between about 34 and 35 degrees with some fog developing by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, though, we get some east winds coming in, and it's going to be quite breezy through the afternoon hours, especially through the gorge, as we get some winds maybe around 15 to 20 miles per hour towards the evening hours. Friday is going to be breezy as well, but I think it's going to be mostly sunny both days. Now, as we go into the extended forecast for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday looking dry, mostly sunny skies. Uh, Monday, we start to see some clouds increase increasing in the latter part of the day ahead of a system that's going to come in by Tuesday as we can get a few showers moving in by that time period. All right, sounds good. For the most part, though, those 50s look just fantastic for all of yeah, us. Yeah, nice time to get outside.